This was an important study, the Prince study. This one came from investigators in Boston, Massachusetts. Guess where that was? It's an important study that addressed anti-inflammatory effect, again called the Prince Trials Pravastatin Inflammation CRP Evaluation. It demonstrated that 40 milligrams of pravastatin given orally for 24 weeks reduced C-reactive protein levels in subjects without cardiovascular disease, independently of the LDL cholesterol. So again, let me repeat, what they saw is what Paul Ridker and Gavin Blake and many others began to see. It really didn't matter whether LDL was involved or not. What was being impacted was inflammation. Now, statins and nitric oxide. Nitric oxide, or NO, is critical to maintain endothelial homeostasis, balance of the metabolic processes in the endothelium, the lining of the artery wall. Endothelial homeostasis means the balance of the metabolic processes, all important lining of the artery wall. Statins favorably increase nitric oxide bioavailability. They increase gene expression for this activity. They promote endothelial healing and they inhibit isoprenoids, which are a problem in that space. So I'm sure those of you who are like biochemical geeks have been looking at these nitric oxide development pathways over on the right. And as you can see, there's a lot of components to it, just like there isn't any significant biochemical metabolic process. Resuvastatin, our old friend, Crestor. Resuvastatin increases circulating endothelial or lining progenitor cells. That's the cells that help develop the lining of the artery wall. That's where all the action is. That's where cardiovascular inflammation is a big, big deal. Cardiovascular inflammation drives injury to that all important endothelial lining. It's called the intima. And by far the number one and two big causes of that are too much insulin in the blood for too long and too much glucose in the blood for too long. There are also some other inflammatory disease drivers as well, like rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis. Again, I'm going down bunny holes. Thank you for your patience. Statins also inhibit endothelial cell activation, which is the first step in atherogenesis. In other words, damage to that endothelial cells. You remember a couple of years ago, we covered an article that came out of the University of Texas. People that look at this space had always thought that there were actually holes in that endothelial lining of the artery wall. What the researchers at University of Texas showed that is it's not holes in that lining. It's what they called transcytosis. In other words, the cell got injured through inflammation and then oxidized LDL, small dense LDL. Those particles actually were able to penetrate through the lining cells of those artery walls.